So let's test a few of the features out. Sound. Hello. Hello. hello, hello. Okay, so sound works. Um, let's try the microphone. Hello. Okay, so the microphone works pretty well. And next we're gonna try the alarm, which might scare off people. If you activate the alarm feature, the camera will alert sounds, okay. I mean, it's not super loud. It's an alarm, I guess. Um, I'd say maybe you could hear that, hear that from maybe like 20 feet away, 30 feet away. I don't know, I'm kind of deaf, so. Uh, position. Oh, so this is for um, PTZ. If you want to switch between two different like views, those are your positions. And white light, let's see. That's what it looks like. Okay, you're right, facing back me, and we can go full screen. Hello? There we go. Alright, so hold that still. Let's try the PTZ function. I'm gonna go to the left. Okay, now face the, face the camera. I mean, show the camera to the side a bit. Now you can see what the uh, PTZ looks like. I don't want to face it too far. I think we can go one more right. And there we go. How about up and down? So, very interesting about this camera. It's very responsive compared to the other cameras I've had. Uh, the camera I showed you earlier, that's uh, next to the patio. That one took a bit while, like three or four seconds for the uh, movements to actually go through. But this one is very snappy, which is probably due to the very good internet connection. So we'll see. In actual practice, how good this, uh, how responsive this is, but it's very good. Um, what's this? So you can allow it to take photos. Failed to take a picture. All right, so we're guessing maybe it's, it's either due to the SD card not being in there, or it might be just because I picked select photos only. So I changed it to enable all photos which is a big risk to me. Uh, you know, I'm kind of worried about selecting all photos, but let's try. So if you pick access to all photos, then you can take pictures. And it saves to my photo album. Uh, again, I'm very cautious about allowing things access to my photos, but if, if you're really cautious, I guess you could um, uh, just take a screenshot. But here's what it looks like. Very nice. Let's go back to the app. Let's see what these other functions are. Okay. There's recording. Okay. What if I press that again? Also, that also saves it in your photo album. So this might be useful for playback. Let's say you have like um, a segment that you recorded that you really want to save. Like, let's say you need to turn in a, a file to the police. This is very convenient for you just to save the file onto your phone and be able to send only that part. Uh, or now that I think about it, that feature is only live. So let's say like you're, you're in California or Antarctica and you see someone on your camera, you can record them. Um, if you, want to, if you do want playback, I'm guessing that you either need to subscribe to the cloud or put an SD card in there. And we'll put a link to a, the cheapest SD card out there in, in the description or comments down below. Uh, very cheap, like maybe like $10 for 128 gigabytes. So I suggest you, you get one just in case to make full use of the camera. Uh, some other settings on this are... So it detects motion. I really wonder if... So you can see the events when it detects motion. And it looks like it saves yeah, 10 seconds. It. it seems like it saves 10 second segments of it. I'm not sure if that's to the cloud or if it's on the phone local storage. 
So just keep that in mind if you plan on using event detection. Um, another thing is on the right here, there's this hexagon sign. And that allows you to really see all the settings of the camera. And you see what the camera is called, it's Wi-Fi, uh, it's strength, time zone. Oh, you can also see the battery level, which might be important for you guys. <laughs> it's 100%. Um, you can't use AI analysis unless you buy their awareness plan, which I feel like is not necessary, but more power to you. Um, there's motion detection. And as you can see, there's motion detection. Let's do... Um, this should describe what's the difference between high, medium, and low. But let's say medium for now. There's a cooldown time. Uh, like, let's say that um, it's just you on the camera. You don't want it to, to record you all the time. So maybe you might want to make it turn on every like, like hour, just in case. Um, and you can set that to five minutes. So I guess the cooldown can be from 10 to five minutes. Oh, the reason that you want to cool down is so that it doesn't use storage. That's why. Uh, and then duration which is self-explanatory, you can record how long the motion after the motion is detected. Uh, you can choose the resolution, which is probably better to use SD if you want to record as much footage as you can, or HD if you want to see like someone's face, for example. Let's go back. There's also, you can change how you're notified, uh, but in order to uh, change that, in order to use a uh, smart push, this one down here, depending on if it's a person or vehicle, you need to buy a plan. But if you just want to get a notification that there is motion, you can just do that without the plan. Um, and this thing which uses a plan. Sleep settings, which you can schedule when the camera isn't in use. Uh, SD card management, lighting setting. Uh, so this indicates that the uh, camera is on. So I think Uh, that changed nothing. Uh, what about the flashlight alarm? So it says that it'll flash once the motion sensor is triggered. Uh, so we'll see that um, as it goes. Has night vision. Uh, you can select the type of uh, night vision. So either you use white light, which illuminates the environment. I, I mean, it's just right here. Or you can use infrared, which doesn't have to illuminate the environment in order to see. And then lastly, light sensitivity level, which just toggles how sensitive uh, the night vision is. So that's the uh, flashing of the motion. Uh, that's the motion sensor flashing. So if it detects motion, it'll flash, you know, to scare off any robbers that it detects or to scare off any animals that might have wandered in. Um, and pretty much the other settings are pretty self-explanatory. Audio, auto power, firmware, and advanced settings, which we'll take a look at later. All right, and then the last feature, probably most important one, is share. Let's say you have an account and you want to share it with your family. Uh, like, I want to share it with my mom. At the bottom, yeah, I'll turn off the flickering. Flashlight. Oh, now the indicator light's off. All right. Anyway, I'm, I'm going to turn that back on because that's really important. But let's say you want that to be inconspicuous. Um, then, then you would turn that off. I'm going to turn that on. Looks like it'll take a while, though. Anyway, going back to share. So it'll give you a QR code that the other person can scan. Uh, and you want to click device sharing. Blur that out, but it's going to give you a QR code that you can use uh, another person's phone with the Vico Home app to scan. And they'll be able to watch the... Uh, uh, live stream. Now, you can set the permissions, or can you? So I think by default, the permissions that they get is watching the live feed, 
and also any videos that are recorded uh, on the storage. Um, but yeah, so the idea is that multiple people probably want to be able to access that live stream. So um, if you have a wife or a mom or a, uh, a friend that you need to watch over your house, then you can give them the access to your camera and then that will allow them to be able to see it on their phone. All right, so that was the setup and demonstration of this Sobmiku Solar PTZ camera. Very good so far. Um, I, I'll just, I'll, I'll cap it off at that, but it was a very good camera. I suggest that you buy it. The links to buy it will be in the description down below or the comments down below. Um, so go buy it. Um, let me know if you have any uh, comments that you want to share with it about us in the comments down below. And uh, maybe help out any other people who might be experience, pro experiencing problems with this camera as well. As for us, we haven't experienced anything uh, major, uh, but that remains to be seen. So I'm Ayman, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, and look at our videos on Nine Ayman, especially the home security and surveillance video videos. And I will see you there. But for now, I'm Ayman, and signing off.